So the team score tied 18-18, and you've got two of the top ten wrestlers in the country squaring off in the heavyweight match. Paul Triandafilo comes in at number eight in the country, 19-4 and four this season, and James Bethel, 14-2, and two, ranked eighth or fifth in the country, excuse me. The two met in last year's NCAA Division III championship. Bethel handing Trandafilo a 5 to nothing decision in the second round. The drama high here is one of the team's hopes to come out with a victory. I mean, it all comes down to this match, tied 18-18, whatever happens. Action forced out of the circle. Bethel, the taller of the two, comes in at about 6'3". Trandafilo at 5'11", so Bethel has the reach. Trina DeFilo is strong, knows how to work up top against the bigger wrestlers. He's beaten quite a few. Unless one of the wrestlers makes a mistake, this will be a low scoring match, but you never know if Bethel can use his length and height advantage over Trandafilo. He's got his legs, or his arms locked behind Trandafilo, trying to force him over. Paul, with a great center of gravity, though, knows how to avoid that. Bethel goes for the trip. Bethel still on top, trying to force Trandafilo down on the ground. Trandafilo trying to get out, unable to, and Bethel gets the points. Takedown near the edge of the mat. Two nothing now, Bethel leads Paul. Paul comes in at 19 and three overall in the season. Two of his three losses have come to top 10 wrestlers. Evans of Waynesburg and Wesneski of Lycoming. Also lost to Carpenitis of York, who is in the honorable mention category in D3 Wrestle, the D3 Wrestle rankings. Paul attempting to stand up now. 15 seconds to go in the first period. As the wrestlers go out of bounds, Paul will be in the down position here. Bethel on top as we end the first period. Paul's got to look for the quick escape here, try to cut the deficit in half. Bethel, a two-time All-American, missed his sophomore year due to injury but he bounced back with a fifth pl place finish as a junior at Nationals. He'll end the first period with a two to nothing lead. So Paul, the first choice to Bethel. Bethel will take the down position. Paul, very good from that top position. And Bethel stands right up. So James Bethel now leads 3 nothing. He has the riding time at 117. So if that were to hold up, that would give him a 4 to nothing lead and give Ani onto the match. So Paul needs to go to work here. Paul shoots in. Bethel defends the offense. Head to head now in the middle of the mat. Bethel again trying to work the leverage. Gets the underhook on Trandafilo. Bethel again uses that leverage, gets Paul to the ground. So Bethel now leads five to nothing over Paul Trandafilo.
that is going to be a tough deficit for the Gettysburg wrestler to overcome here. As we enter the final 40 seconds of the second period. Bethel manages to flatten Paul out. Bethel forces Paul over and gets the pin. 